We have got extreme mammals at the Natural History Museum right now, and this exhibit is living up to the name. With me is Dr. Xiaoming Wang. He's one of our curators of vertebrate paleontology. Hey, Xiaoming. Hi, Chris. So what, uh, what do we got here? Well, here is a intricathia, and uh, is the largest land mammal ever to have lived. It is from Mongolia. It lived about 34 to 26 million years ago. The rhinos is a really a family of uh, numerous branches, and this is one of the early branches of rhinos. And it also has a very long neck as well. So it's actually reaching to the top of the trees to browse on the tender leaves. This animal, these are extinct today, right? What happened? It is extinct. This animal lives during a period of uh, dramatic global cooling. These animals therefore live in a condition where a lot of the forest is beginning to open. So you have a more patchy forest. So these animals actually need to travel longer distances. So the climate change caused a change in the vegetation and there wasn't enough for her to eat. That's right. Climate may actually cause the extinctions of the gigantic animals like this. Large mammals have been going extinct around the world for the past 30 million years, including here in Los Angeles. And a lot of those big mammals are found in our La Brea Tar Pits. Our La Brea Tar Pits curator, Dr. Emily Lindsay, is here to tell us about what you find in those pits. Well, the cool thing about the tar pits is we actually find everything in the tar pits. We've got an entire ecosystem represented there, everything from extremely big mammals to tiny insects. It's, there's more big cats in the tar pits. How many species are in the tar pits? So in the tar pits, we have five big cats. And when we talk about big cats, we mean things that are over 100 pounds. The American lion, that was the biggest. We have the saber-toothed cat, which of course everybody knows. Another type of saber-toothed cat that most people don't know about called a scimitar cat, an extinct subspecies of jaguar. And we've got the mountain lion. And the mountain lion is the only one left today. Is that because it's the least extreme? We think so. Scientists have looked at the diet of three of these big cats, the American lion and the saber-toothed cat and the mountain lion, all from specimens found in the tar pits and what they found is that the mountain lion seemed to have a much broader diet than the other two big cats. So the mountain lion was the only big cat to survive the last ice age in Los Angeles and it stayed here as our city grew up around it. What does a mountain lion have to do to survive in Los Angeles? Mountain lions are really good at surviving. I call them extreme survivors here in Los Angeles because probably the most vulnerable carnivore species that we have here remaining in the Los Angeles area. To avoid extinction, they've been able to adapt to different ecosystems. Fortunately, they've been lucky enough to avoid freeways and traffic enough to still be here. But freeways are, are kind of having a huge impact on their population as a whole here. Extreme Mammals is at the Natural History Museum until September 10th.